I'm Jenna with Stalls TV and welcome to The Craft Corner. Today we're going to be doing a fun and unique project, but before we get there, I wanted to let you know about some new foil colors that Stalls added to their collection. Now everyone had been talking about the uh, bright gold that we had offered before but discontinued, so we brought that back into our collection and some other fun and unique colors such as silver scales, coral, champagne, waterfall, which is a really cool oil slick effect, rose pink, black, and kiwi. Now those are just some of the colors that we added to the collection and we're actually going to be applying the black foil today so you can see that in action, but we're going to twist it up a little bit. We're going to be using the CAD cut adhesive, we're going to cut it out on our silhouette, and then we're going to be using a home iron to apply it to our wood bottle opener. So that's something that a lot of apparel decorators didn't know is that adhesive can actually be applied to wood. So I'll go ahead and load the adhesive into my Silhouette Cameo and we'll get started. Cat Cut Adhesive is a clear product that works as a heat activated glue for the foil to adhere to. So being that it's completely transparent, I have it on the backing of my cutting mat so that it'll help me be able to see those cut lines a little clearer. So if you're having a hard time weeding this material after cutting it, it's because it's a transparent material. So just place it on something that uh, has some color to it so it helps bring out those cut lines. Other than that, it has a nice tacky backing for you to get some nice detail in. So you'll see that I'm weeding away a cursive text. And if one of those edges happens to pick up in case my blade didn't have enough force on it or wasn't on the right setting so my cut lines didn't exactly come out hypothetically speaking it would be okay all I would have to do is just put that right back down on that backing and it would adhere right back down all right so now I have all that excess material weeded away all I need to do is go back in and weed away those cavity areas to make this process a little easier, maybe choosing a uh, type of text where the cavities are already open so you can just pull right into those will definitely speed up the weeding process. Since this is just a decoration piece for kitchen decor, I'm not really worried about having to weed away a bunch of these, so I'm okay with doing a font that has closed cavities. Okay, so I have all of my areas weeded away. I'm just going to turn that over so that the light hits it a little better to make sure all those areas are weeded out. And it looks like we're good, so we can go ahead and iron our transfer on. So we're gonna place our adhesive in the center of this blank area. And we want to take our iron. I have my iron set on the cotton linen setting the adhesive application instructions for a heat press are 300 degrees for five seconds. So what I'm gonna do is just place my iron on the top edge or the top part of my graphic and hold it there for five seconds with a firm pressure. And then I'm gonna move down to the bottom part of my graphic to finish it off. So just holding that there for five seconds with a firm pressure. And I can see part of that has started to apply. Over here you can see I didn't have enough firm pressure over there, so all I need to do is move my iron over and press again. What's nice about applying adhesive onto wood, you can really tell where it has applied and hasn't applied. So you never have to guess whether you have the right amount of adhesion or not. All right, so you can just go ahead and move down to the next area. Whenever you're applying wood, you want applying to wood with adhesive, you wanna make sure that you're getting a nice flat surface of wood because it can be a little tricky to get it to adhere if it has any ridges in it at all. All right, I'm just gonna kind of go over my design some more just to make sure I'm getting a nice adhesion onto that wood. So it looks like it's starting to really stick on there. 
Okay, so I can go ahead and peel my carrier back. Now, my adhesive is a hot peel, so I don't need to wait for this to cool down at all before peeling my carrier away. So as I'm peeling this away, you can see it's all in place. What I'm gonna do is just take my foil sheet, place it right over top of my adhesive. It'll stick right in place. All right, so I'm going to grab my cover sheet, place that right over top. The reason I'm using a cover sheet for this is because this foil is a little finicky and it's very easy to move. And I don't want it to move or crinkle up whenever I'm moving my iron over top of it. So this should keep it nice and flat and secure on that adhesive. I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the adhesive. I'm just gonna hold it in place with the bottom part of the graphic and then kind of move around each part of the graphic with a firm pressure. Now foils application with a heat press is eight to 10 seconds at 300 degrees. So my temperature of my iron is set at the right temperature. I just need to increase my dwell time with my iron. Now I'm going to go over the foil just as I did earlier with the adhesive, just kind of going over the entire surface to make sure I didn't miss any edges or corners of a letter there. Now my foil is a cool pill, so I'm gonna wait for that to cool for a little bit and then I can peel away my foil sheet. So I'm just gonna peel my foil sheet back What's really unique about this finish is that the adhesive actually took on the wood grain of this piece. So this is actually going to be a very perfect look for any household that has a farmhouse style or rustic style decor in their kitchen. This is just one of many projects that you can create using Stahl's CAD Cut Adhesive and Foil. If you're looking for more fun ways to incorporate foil in your craft business, be sure to visit stallstv.com. Thanks for joining me in the Craft Corner.